Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, we are back in the garage today and uh, like I had talked about in the last video, today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the isolation transformer and the multi plus 24 volt inverter. The isolation transformer finally came in um, after a great big delay. So um, let's get right to it. Alright guys, so what we have here is we have uh, our multi plus multi plus 24 volt 3000 watt 70 amp inverter charger uh, this is going to supply all of the ac power to the boat uh, from the 24 volt battery bank that we're building uh, that will sit in the shower that i showed you um, the, in the last video this is our isolation transformer this is what we've been waiting on uh, this is what's going to keep the boat isolated and separated from uh, shore power uh, to make sure that there's no stray current moving into the boat. So let's take a look what's in the boxes. Isolation transformer. So what it does is this thing takes power um, from the shore power circuit, brings it in, and then completely isolates it from the boat. Um, the point to that being that we don't want any stray current or leaking current coming from the marina coming into the boat itself. So uh, this makes sure that we are uh, galvanically isolated uh, from, so there is no direct connection inside of this. It's all done by magnet. So we'll take a look at what's inside. power comes in from the shore power side uh, so in this case we're going to have one single 30 amp circuit uh, coming in from the shore power side uh, it comes into here um, and then goes back out um, through this cable gland and it'll run from here uh, straight into um, the inverter the boat safe um, the only extra piece on here is there is an isolation ground on the bottom and that'll connect to the ground circuit uh, to make sure that uh, the case is grounded in case there's any faults on the end. the business end of everything this is our uh, multi plus 24 volt 3000 um, watt 70 amp inverter charger uh, the purpose of this is the reason why we spent the money on this is because it does a lot of things for us um, it allows it'll charge our lithium batteries at a rate that is good for them it'll allow us to power everything we need on the boat and um, it automatically has a pass-through circuit and we'll show you that on the inside um, but it also has the ability um, to add power. So if you're plugged into a marina or something like that where you're not getting the power that you need, um, this inverter will then take battery power from the battery bank to stabilize the current flow moving in um, to make sure that you have the power you need to apply your stuff. And it has a step-up feature, meaning that if you're drawing more power than the 30 amp circuit is providing. It will step up to uh, 25 extra amps um, to supply multiple loads uh, coming through your circuits. So it has a lot of great features that we're really excited about. have the ability to select on off and charger only that way if um, you have AC power on the boat coming in 
And the one thing you need to be careful of with an inverter is you never want to leave it on. And the reason why, when you're not at the boat, and the reason why is that if you drop power um, at the marina, this thing is going to kick on. So it's going to sense that there's no AC power coming in. Um, and because it knows that you have AC loads, uh, as soon as there's an AC draw, this thing is going to turn on. And um, you never want this thing to drain your battery bank down um, when you're not there. So leaving it just in the charger mode only allows you to charge your batteries. But if you lose power um, from the boat, um, you're going to just lose your AC power. The batteries are not going to drain off because they're not going to be pulling through this. So your negative comes in here, your positive comes in here. This is set up so that you can run dual legs uh, if you want to. We're only running one cable uh, for each the negative and the positive side. As it's going to come through the Victron distribution system, which we went over in another video. So you have power coming in. So this will come in from the isolation transformer, line, neutral ground. And then you have power out. Now there are two power out features on this inverter. The first one is your main 70 amp load, um, and that's going to go to the AC distribution panel, and that is the inverter loads only. The second power out, which is a pretty cool function of this, is a power out that goes to AC loads that you only want to work when you have shore power. So this is going to go, these two wires is going to go to a small panel that is going to um, feed the water heater and a couple other AC things that I only want to run when we're charging, uh, when we have shore power connected. If we lose shore power, um, this is going to disconnect. And so those loads on this circuit will disconnect automatically. And the reason why is because those are going to be high draw items that you that will draw your battery bank down pretty fast. And so we just want to make sure that if this disconnects, that the inverter isn't trying to supply power to those things. This is the isolation transformer and the multi-plus inverter charger. Uh, we're going to do a mock setup here in the next video that's going to show how we connect uh, all this stuff here. We're going to do it on the bench before we get to the boat, just so you guys can see a dry run of, of kind of what we're looking at. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, these are quality products, uh, which is why I, I bought the entire system. So it networks together and talks to each other. I'm really excited about getting this up and getting Providence running um, off our battery power. So thanks for watching. If you like, please subscribe and like, and I'll leave a comment below and uh, we'll talk to you later.